Hi guys, it's Almosty here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I am building another family home, and this time I am building one for a single mom, which I know I have done a lot of. And actually when I was building this, I was thinking about different types of families that I haven't built homes for, and so I'm definitely going to be like thinking about that a little bit more and creating some more unique household family types or at least uh, a different variety than I have done and if you guys have any ideas or suggestions for that definitely let me know but I think I have some good ideas so hopefully I'll be able to make some houses for them uh, but anyways I wasn't really planning on making this a single mom's house so it's not you know it doesn't have to be but just as I was decorating it and I was thinking about the family that lives here it's just kind of the family that came to mind so I imagine this single mom is newly single I imagine that she did have a husband that she loved very much, but unfortunately, I think he probably, like something tragic happened. And I always hate to say this because it's so sad and I hate those types of, you know, it's just sad, <laughs> but um, it does happen and it's realistic and it makes for good storytelling. So I think that she has been newly single and it was tragic and she's heartbroken and she's devastated and all of those emotions that come along with that. And she does have three children and she has a toddler, a and then two children sims. I think one of them's like close to being a teen, but they're still very much a child. And I did this because I've been building so many rooms for teenagers recently because of course high school years is coming out at the end of the month. And I've been very much inspired by that whole idea of the expansion pack. But um, I thought I would just do small children for this build, but of course that's easy to change if you guys have like teenagers and stuff like that. So I think it's easy to adapt. But um, yeah, I think that this single mom, she has been very much career focused and not so much like at home focused. I think that was primarily her husband's role. And so I think he was like the homekeeper. I think he primarily took the kids to their events, to the doctor, to, you know, any school related things, sports, basically anything. And so she's learning how to adapt basically and how to uh, do all of those things that she's not super comfortable with. I imagine she's a professor and I put the archeology span table in here and I thought that was pretty cool because I haven't used it in a while. And I haven't built anything for a sim that I imagined is an archaeologist in a while. Um, but yeah, I think she primarily does like research in archaeology. She works as a professor and she travels a lot. She's traveled a ton for this particular career of hers. And so she's just been focused on this all of her adult life. Of course, she had her kids and I'm sure she took some time with them and stuff like that. But since she was the breadwinner, she primarily worked and yeah, the husband did everything. And so now she's learning to adapt <laughs> with her new life as being both a career person and a home taker. I imagine she has definitely taken on help probably with like daycare or maybe like a nanny or even like a live-in nanny. Although I did not make a room for one. So that might not be the best idea, but I mean, it's a pretty big house. So you could probably find space to decorate a room for like a butler or something. I guess you can't really have a live-in nanny in the game. They're only butlers. And I don't really see this as a family, you know, the type of family having a butler. So I don't really see that as being part of their story, but me, I you could probably make it work. Um, but anyways, I really like that idea. Um, I think that's kind of a fun take on a... Uh, a single mom. So I imagine she's just very successful career wise, but she's not so successful at least yet in doing like all of the homemaker stuff, but she's learning. Uh, but the house is really nice. I think that she kind of went a little bit crazy when her husband passed and she sold everything. She didn't want anything to remind her of him and she was completely, you know, devastated and destroyed. So she sold everything and she has refurnished the house the way she likes it. And she likes black, apparently. That was really not the direction I had planned on going for the interior. I mean, the exterior, I definitely picked like black shutters and black flooring, but I really just wanted something that was a little bit more like, I don't know, different looking than most of my family homes. I was trying to just go for a different style. But I continued that onto the interior and I really like it. I think it's really refreshing. It's very modern feeling. And I think the interior just turned out to be really nice. But I honestly struggled so much with this floor plan. And it's not perfect. It's not my most favorite floor plan. I don't hate it, but I think it could be better. But I tried so many different attempts. Like this is like the fifth time I tried to do the floor plan. And I just, 
I don't know why, but this particular house just was a weird shape for me to figure out a floor plan, but I made it work. It just kind of has weird, awkward hallways downstairs, I think. I mean, I when I was taking the screenshots, I didn't think it was that bad. It somewhat, you know, felt kind of realistic because I think hallways are pretty common, especially in a larger home. And it's not that I try to avoid them, I don't think, when I'm doing floor plans, but I don't know. It's just something about it just did not feel like my best floor plan. I don't know. You guys can let me know if you guys are familiar with my floor plans, but I think, I think I've definitely made better ones. But like I said, I don't hate it. I think it's still okay. It's just, it feels a little bit awkward with all the hallways, but anyways, here on the second floor is where all the bedrooms are. I end up putting two bathrooms up here and then three bedrooms or four bedrooms. Sorry. There's the master bedroom with an ensuite. There's a room for a toddler and then two children's rooms. And then they all have a bathroom that they can use too. And then downstairs there is the main entryway, which I, you know, decorated like I would any entryway with like a coat rack and those sorts of things. And then off to the right, there's going to be the living room. And I think this is why I struggled so much with the floor plan is because I was so dead set on that being the location of the living room that I kind of just forced everything to work with it. And then I wanted like the dining to be close to that and then the kitchen to be close to that. So like all of that stuff just ends up being on the right side of the house. Um, and I think that all works out really nicely. And then there's also a laundry room off of the kitchen. And then there's the hallway that leads to like the back porch area. And I put some decorations at like the back door that I thought was kind of appropriate for a back door. And then in that hallway is where the bathroom is. And then it leads to the office. And the office is so pretty because I use those mosquito windows. And there's just so much light in there. I imagine this sim uh, definitely likes a lot of plants because I used a lot of plants to decorate this interior. And lots of plants on the exterior, like with the window boxes. And I love the window boxes, by the way. I used a combination of the ones that recently came with the werewolves pack and then also ones from discover university and i don't think i typically do two different window boxes if i do i like layer them to try to give like a different look but actually using two different ones on you know different windows i don't think i have done that before so i actually really liked the look on this house and yeah i just used lots of plants basically um and then there's also another area at the base of the staircase that i kind of made like a little sitting area with a piano and uh, just like a side table and a stereo and just some like little decorations like that So it's just a nice little like hangout area um, But over here I'm using this live edit objects fence just to have something that I could place as close as I could to the edge of the lot because unfortunately you can't actually place the regular fences using like the fence tool at the very edge of the lot and I wanted to have as much space over here as possible and I didn't want to move this house to a bigger lot because I didn't think it was necessary I thought it looked really good over here and I'm building a new crest by the way and I get lots of questions sometimes when I'm building about which location in the world I'm building um, but you can always see the name of the lot in the top left hand side of the screen it has like the address or like the title of the lot and so you can know where to place it if you want to place it in the exact same lot or if you want to build on the particular lot that I'm building on, then you can find it pretty easily that way. Um, but yeah, I wanted to use as much space as possible. So the live edit objects fence are great for that. I could of course just held the alt key and dragged it as close as possible to the edge, but I am a PC player so I can use the tool mod and the tool mod makes that really easy because you can just click on all of the objects and then use the gravity pull feature just to pull it away. And so that worked really nicely. Um, but I love this pathway that I created around the side of the house. I ended up using mostly terrain paint this particular flooring here has both a terrain paint option and a flooring option and you can use them in combination with each other but sometimes I notice there's a little bit of a weird sort of edge in between the flooring and the terrain paint so I ended up mostly doing just terrain around the side of the house and then the flooring in the back of the house where I have like uh, the outdoor dining area and that sort of stuff but I love that side area because I put those live edit objects planters and i think they're so cute and i end up putting a bicycle over there and just little decorations and i just think it ends up looking so nice um but yeah for the landscaping i mostly used a lot of greenery some flowers but nothing too colorful most of the flowers are white and then i think i used uh, like a peachy sort of flower color that you'll see me place here in just a moment um yeah this one at some point we got some recolors to those base game flowers for the longest time i think that particular bush had like 
one swatch, maybe a few, I can't exactly remember, but at some point more swatches were added and I'm, I really like them, they're really pretty. Um, and yeah, I just continued with like trees and shrubs and bushes and different sort of uh, grassy pieces that I thought looked nice in combination with each other. And then back here I do create sort of like a, um, I guess you wouldn't call it a patio, but like a, I have a floored area. No, that's not right either. <laughs> um, but I used the same flooring that I used on the side of the house and I made like a whole area back here for the barbecue or in an outdoor dining area. I also put some planter boxes and then I also end up placing a swing set back here. And the only thing that I was thinking about uh, that maybe I should have moved it to a bigger lot because I really wanted to add like a sandbox and I just did not have the room for it. But I was thinking about things that I have included in backyards before and I think I have not made a sandbox in a really long time. And so I definitely need to do one in one of my future family homes because I think that would be just a nice thing to include. And especially now that we have sand that your Sims can actually build sand castles in, they're like pretty functional, I think. Um, and so, yeah, I definitely need to include one, but I think a swing set is nice. And then I just added different decorations around, trying to make it feel fully decorated and super cute. Here, I got rid of the flooring, like I said, that was surrounding the back of the build, and I just had it lead up to the path that leads to the backyard. Um, and I think that looks really nice because there is that weird little bit of clipping where the terrain paint meets the flooring. It's not that big of a deal and it's probably a little bit more exaggerated by the reshade that I'm using in case you guys didn't know. I actually get lots of questions too about the reshade that I'm using. It's Dove, it's linked in the description box, but I've actually um, used a new way to download reshade basically um and it's by bojana sims and if you guys have not followed her yet definitely you should she makes the most beautiful cc builds and i'm just completely obsessed with them but she actually um came out with a version of downloading reshade with like presets she has her own preset and then also um dove if you already have that one and i think it actually looks better with the option that she has. So I'll have it linked in the description box. I haven't mentioned it and I don't know why. I think I just keep forgetting about it. But at one point we got an update and it broke the shadows, <laughs> like the MXAO settings that Reshade has that causes these beautiful shadows was broken. But thankfully she has created a fix. <laughs> and so I don't know if since then there's been a fix with like the regular reshade, but I've just been using her version and it's worked great for me. So I will have it linked, but like I said, she makes the most beautiful speed builds. So definitely check that out as well, especially if you're into custom content because uh, she does lots of those. But anyways, on the back porch and the front porch, I used the furniture that came from Island Living and I thought that looked really pretty out there. And I just think they feel so cozy, especially with those planter boxes that came from the werewolves pack. I think they're really, really pretty and they're very rustic looking. And I think when I was placing those, I was planning on making this interior a lot more rustic than it ends up being. It ends up being quite modern and I think very different, even though I've done some modern interiors and even some recently, like I did one in Oasis Springs recently, I did a part to my renovating base game series and that one was quite modern. Uh, but that one was very brown <laughs> and so I don't know it's nice to do like a similar style but um, well I guess they're just, like, that was a bit more mid-century feeling I guess I don't know what I'm saying anymore but it felt different and felt refreshing anyway so hopefully you guys do like that and I also have not used these couches in the longest time these couches came from seasons I thought about using that other couch that I placed there in uh, like the base of the staircase I end up not even placing it over there but I placed it because um, I thought I might use in that space but yeah, I ended up actually using these couches that came from Seasons and I thought they were so pretty in this purple color and this kind of just spurred on the entire color scheme for the entire build. Like I used lots of purples, well not lots, just subtle amounts of purples, but lots of blacks, some browns and creams. I tried to incorporate browns and creams just to sort of tone down the black and make it feel a little bit more warm. And I think it actually matched this flooring pretty nicely because you can see the different variations of browns, but some of them are close to like being almost black or grayish. I mean, they're not black by any means, but they have some like, blackish tones to them, if that makes any sense. And I don't even know if that's a thing, but um, I thought they all looked nice together. And then over here, I struggled finding a side table to use. I ended up actually swapping this one out from the one that came from Seasons. And I don't know why I didn't think about that one initially, but thankfully when I was decorating the dining room, I found it and I was like, oh yeah, 
it's supposed to go with this furniture so it actually matches pretty nicely but it doesn't feel too matchy to where everything feels like I don't know like a just, you know those like giant matching furniture sets and they're just kind of they're kind of loud I used to love them and it's so funny because like my husband and I we went into some like home furnishing store the other day it was not an Ashley's but it was very similar to like an Ashley's home furniture store if you guys are familiar with those and I just I don't I, those big matching furniture sets, I, they don't appeal to me anymore. And it's so funny because when I was like in my early 20s, I used to go into those types of furniture stores and just love everything and be completely obsessed with it. And now I just have a completely different taste. And I was telling my husband, it's just funny how your taste change over really not that long of a period of time. But I think especially since I've been decorating in The Sims and watching various different channels on YouTube about decorating and stuff, I just... Um, have developed different taste, I guess, <laughs> different opinions. But anyways, over here is going to be the dining room. I thought this was like the perfect location because when you're taking screenshots, you can see the dining area from the living room. And then if you're in the dining room, you can see the living room. And it just, it looks so pretty to me when you have like a nice open archway and you can see the different rooms from each other. I just think it looks so nice. But in here, I struggled finding decorations to put along this wall. I was really wanting like a modern china cabinet and we have a few from base game, but I just, I don't really like them that much. They look a little bit too plain and simple and kind of cheesy looking. And then we have some more traditional ones from base game that I like a lot better. And I tried using one of them, but it was just way too different of a style than what I was going for in here and then I tried using the one that I have over here to the left and I really like this one but it just really wasn't a china cabinet and it really wasn't giving that look that I was wanting to go for and so I ended up not using it but I ended up actually finding the shelf that came from uh, Island Living and I thought that actually looked really cool so you'll see me place it there in just a moment here I just am back in the living room briefly to place a basket and then mess around with the side table and shuffle things around to see if I want to place them in different places but I just end up leaving them in those locations and I really liked um, placing that piece of artwork that I have here to the right of the dining table and I felt like that suited the story for the single mom that I was going for because since she's an archaeologist and like a professor I imagine she primarily works as a professor like she has a um, probably a job probably doing like lectures and stuff, but she also does research and she travels a lot for the research. And so through her travels, she collects a lot of interesting things. And so I tried to add different decorations that I imagine she could have collected during her travels and things like that. And so um, I thought that was kind of a nice one to include. And also these giraffe statues, these came with the Maximalist uh, kit, I think it uh, yeah, it was a kit. Um, I almost said it was a stuff pack, but I think the last stuff pack we got was the paranormal stuff, and that was over a year ago, so I'm almost certain we're never getting stuff packs again, which makes me pretty sad. I actually really like stuff packs, but anyways, I thought that those giraffes were something that she could have collected as well, and also that shelf she probably could have collected too, maybe on some sort of cool adventure in Solani or something, but Anyways, in here in the kitchen, I used the cabinets that came from Jungle Living. I thought that these also suited the style, but also the theme and everything that I was going for. And I love that the plates and dishes and stuff that you can see in the cabinets are a bit more colorful. So I also imagine she collected those during her travels as well. And then I just placed an island in here and then just various regular kitchen decorations. I get a a refrigerator in here and I also size up the refrigerator site slightly and I've been meaning to mention but I recently uploaded a room to the gallery with all of the refrigerators from base game and the different packs so far and I scaled them up slightly like I do in my speed builds and so if you're a console player you can download those so even though I use the tool mod to size them up you can download those and you don't need the tool mod for them to work or to look the same it's just if you use like the eyedropper tool they're not going to eyedropper at the same scale but if you place that room over and over and again then the refrigerator will say stay the same scale that I sized it up to so hopefully that makes sense um and yeah you can find that room on my gallery other than that, I just add different decorations around. I also get a teapot in here, a microwave, and then I also put that really nice wall decoration and I hid it in the cabinets because I like it to look like it's just a shelf full of decorations. I think it came from Cool Kitchen if I remember correctly, but you can see it in the left side of the kitchen. And I think it looks nice hidden in the cabinets. I do this in a lot of kitchens, but I like the decorations that are on there and I don't always want to see the pictures that are at the top of it. 
I think it works better as just like a simple like shelf decoration. So I do that quite a bit, but I think it looks really nice. And then I also put some dog treats in there and then I end up placing a food bowl over there really quickly. And then I place other dog related items in there because I imagine this family should have a dog. So you can easily have a cat too if you wanted. I would put the litter box in here probably. This is the laundry room. And in here, I of course have a washer and dryer and laundry related decorations. It's pretty simply decorated, but I think it looks really cute. And then back here is going to be the area that leads to the back of the house. And so here I really wasn't really sure what I wanted to include. And so I was just kind of messing around with things, trying to find things that work. But what I end up doing is leaving this coat rack that I have over here that came from Seasons, but I only have one of them in the end. I was trying to place two of them because I was wanting it to look like some of those really like large, storage areas where people keep all their coats and boots and stuff. I see different pictures of them or um, I see them in different like decorating shows of these really nice sort of like mudroom areas. So I was wanting it to have that feeling, but I don't know, it really wasn't looking the way I wanted to, especially it just felt kind of repetitive having the same shelf twice. So I just placed one of them and then I also have the shelf with the dog leash and dog collar. And then I decided to put a dresser over here for storage instead. And then I just decorate the top of it with different things that I thought would look nice and a few things that I imagine the Sim has collected during her travels. And yeah, I think it ends up looking really nice. I end up actually placing one of the archeology span uh, things that you can uncover right here, this little statue. I thought that looked pretty cute. And then just a picture frame, I imagined it was like a family photo. Of course you can take pictures of your Sims in game and then actually set the photo on the surfaces. I wish that we would get more just regular photo decorations with like portraits in them and even ones for like the walls and stuff so we could just hang pictures around the house a little bit easier because of course you could like save those to a room or something and place them but I always find that a little bit difficult and not really worth the extra effort um so yeah i just don't end up using them but anyways um i finished that area of the build and then over here is this hallway and this hallway just felt so awkward for me i just did not know what to place in it thought about placing those bookcases but i felt like those looked weird and so i just kind of start filling in this area of the hallway i put a walk-in closet and added a door to the office space and then I just add a plant and just different things just to fill in the area, some artwork and stuff. And it's pretty simply decorated, but honestly, it's a hallway. And so I don't really know how much time your Sims are going to spend in here. But since it's like right in the center of the house, I wanted to make sure it was decorated and had stuff on the walls. That way, if you do play with the walls up, it's not like completely empty. So I don't know. I think I made it look okay, but I just feel like it's just kind of awkward but then something about it feels a little bit realistic to me. I don't know, I'm kind of torn about it, but it was the best floor plan that I could come up with in the moment, so I'm just gonna have to go with it. And then over here, I decided that a fish tank would be a little bit better, and I totally forgot about this one that came from Snowy Escape, and it worked perfectly for the style because it's a bit more modern. And then here for a brief moment, I did think about just adding a large fish tank because I was like, well, if a little one's nice, then maybe a big one will be even better, but it just did not match the style. It was way too big for the space, so I decided just to um, leave this one and then just have some artwork and a plant, <laughs> which I think was like my go-to. I mean, it's probably always my go-to fill-in decoration because plants work for pretty much any style and they fill in spaces so nicely. Speaking of plants, oh my goodness, I went to Ikea this morning and they had Birds of Paradise and Fiddly Figs for so cheap, I was so excited. I just like ran there to pick up something that I've been waiting to come in stock and so I didn't really plan on buying other things but I saw those plants and I couldn't help it. And since I'm in a new house and I sold a lot of my plants when I moved, and it kind of makes me sad that I did. I wish I would have just kept them, but I need to rebuild up my, my plant stock basically. And they had them for so cheap, I was really excited. But anyways, over here is the downstairs bathroom. It's a pretty large bathroom. You could easily fit a bathtub in here if you feel like it's necessary. But I thought a shower was the perfect sort of thing to have in here. I also included a toddler potty and a regular potty, of course. And so it's just a nice spacious bathroom. And then I just add some different decorations around trying to make it feel 
of course, fully decorated and all that kind of stuff. I actually really liked including those purple towels. I thought those were pretty cute. And then over here is going to be the mom's office. And I just absolutely love these mosquito windows so much. I want to use them in almost every build and I have to like restrain myself whenever I don't use them for not using them because they're just the best. But anyways, since I imagined this mom is an archaeologist, I definitely wanted her to have an archaeology table, but I did not think the style of it suited the style of this build like at all, like the stickers and the rustic appearance of it just did not match. If it would have came in a black swatch, I think it could have made it work, but it doesn't. So what I decided to do was to use this basement trick. So you can do this, I think, with pretty much any object that functions like this. I mean, I don't know for certain, but so far, anything that I've tried doing this works great. So you can hide something in a basement and then the game will still think it's in the basement and then you can raise it up to the level that you want it to be at using the nine key or like me using the uh, tool mod. And if you are a PC player, then I highly recommend using the tool mod because you can be a lot more precise with the location where you're placing an object and you can get it to like the exact level. And then I knew this was going to work because I've done a lot of different stuff like this, but I wasn't sure if the archeology span table was going to function in the end because I actually ended up sizing it down slightly and then also raising it up slightly and I thought raising it up was going to like mess with it a little bit but um, it didn't so I play tested it and it worked fine I was able to place one of the artifacts on the table and my sim was able to go over there and uncover it and it seemed to work just fine so it made me so happy because it looks so much better this way and I think the office is just nice and cozy and I also put a computer desk in there and more plants and I just think it ended up being really nice so yeah, over here at the base of the staircase, I ended up actually placing this uh, keyboard. And then normally when I create a stand-up piano using this keyboard, I use the side table that came from Cats and Dogs. But I think normally when I try to do a stand-up piano, I try to give it a little bit more of like a traditional look and then use the keyboard when I'm going for a modern look. But I, I just didn't think the keyboard looked that good in here by itself. So I decided to use this side table that came from, I think it was eco lifestyle but it gave that like modern look that i was going for so i just placed two of them on top of each other and i sized them up slightly using the tool mod and i think it looks really good it looks like a modern standing piano and uh, i really like it i'm really happy about that and then yeah i ended up not using that couch that i had placed in here i placed a couple of other chairs instead that came from dream home decorator and then i just had this side table from dream home decorator and then I just place a few decorations up on top of it, some like books and a lamp, and then a decoration that came from Jungle Adventure with some like grassy sort of stuff poking out of it, and it's like a nice little jar. And then I thought since the Sim does have a dog, I would place a couple of dog beds around. So I put one in the office and then one at the base of the staircase, and I thought that looked really nice. And then moving on to the second floor, I'm just copying over the same wallpapers that I used on the first floor, same flooring in the bathrooms, in the hallways. <laughs> the only rooms that I switch up the wallpapers are the bedrooms. And then this hallway, I had no idea what I wanted to place. It was also a really long hallway. I don't know. I don't know why this house was so difficult for me <laughs> to figure out the floor plan, but I just feel like it has so many hallways. It's a bit ridiculous. Uh, but I think I made it work. I just add some like different artwork around, some side tables, another fish tank, and I don't know, some lights and stuff it looks okay but it's just a hallway and this one i wasn't so worried about because it's not like dead center in the center of the house of course i still wanted it to look nice and be decorated in case you are taking screenshots with your walls up or you play with walls up but it's still just a hallway <laughs> so i don't know how often people really take screenshots of their sims in hallways I don't know, but I think I made it work anyways. Uh, over here though, is going to be the master bedroom. So I decided to use this bed that came from Dream Home Decorator because it had this really pretty like purpley pink comforter and like headboard and blanket. It's just so perfect for the colors that I was going for. And I really ended up not using that much purple. Like watching this back as I do the voiceover, I was thinking when I finished it that there was a lot more purple, but I think I did it enough to where it's pretty subtle, but you still get it coming through. So I like it. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, over here, I did this technique of using this little dresser that came from parenthood I believe um, and then I put two of them next to each other just to look like a longer dresser basically a bigger dresser and I think that looks really nice and I used it in this black color and then I just find different decorations and stuff to put up on top of it and then in here I also got a fireplace and a TV I thought that was kind of nice and modern feeling to have a big old 
fancy modern fireplace in the bedroom and then I also use that door uh, with like the glass on the doors <laughs> into the bathroom I thought about just placing like an archway and doing like a move objects trick to make it look like the doors are open but I felt like with this size of room it would just feel a little bit crowded I really hope at some point with the like the actual sims we get some like open doors I think that would be really cool just for like placing them as different decorations so I have some that I use on my custom content channel and I love them <laughs> and, and I would love to see them be like you know come with like an official pack or something that would be pretty cool we actually got the one that came from the industrial loft kit and the only thing I don't like about that one is it didn't come with a closed version so I think if we're gonna get open doors we need a closed version too just so we can you know use them together and for different situations sometimes you'll want them open sometimes you want them closed so it would be nice to have both <laughs> anyways over here I'm finally moving on to the kids bedroom so the first kids room that I decorate is the toddlers room and I decided to go for a dinosaur theme which is definitely not a new theme but I don't think I've done many toddler rooms I've definitely done lots of like child sim rooms with a dinosaur theme, but I don't think I've done many toddler rooms, at least that I can remember. So I thought that would be fun and super cute. And I decided to go for more of this like yellowy orangey color scheme, mostly because I wanted it to be pretty neutral and I thought it matched this wallpaper that I wanted to use and the bed as well. But also a lot of the dinosaur objects in game come with some sort of like orange variation. So I thought that would work really nice. And you may have noticed that I tried adding the high chair downstairs and where I would place it is where I have that chair next to the laundry room. And I thought about getting rid of that chair and just placing the high chair there because I think that would be a great spot. Of course, you could just snap it to the dining table and that's an easy spot to put it, but I don't really like the way it looks, so I never like to do that. But I liked the way the chair looked so much that I didn't want to get rid of it. So if you are playing in this build and you need the high chair for gameplay, I would definitely just put it in that location. I think that would probably work the best. So. I just, I didn't want to remove the chair. I liked it too much. So that's what I ended up doing. Um, and then over here, I put two of these dressers next to each other just to look like a larger dresser unit for the toddler. Um, the only thing that I did is I sized one of them down ever so slightly using the tool mod just so they weren't clipping so much because um, having them overlapped like that, they were clipping quite a bit. So I tried to fix it just um, by sizing it down slightly. And then over here, I'm just adding some toys and different decorations um, around the bookcase. And of course, this dinosaur shelf is perfect because it has the like long neck sort of dinosaurs on there. And I thought that was pretty adorable. And then so over here is going to be two kids rooms. I'm going to decorate one of them as a sports theme. And I know I've done this a lot recently, especially with decorating teens rooms, but with the Sims 4 high school year is coming out very soon and like football and cheerleading be a thing. Actually, I saw on Twitter that those aren't actually really like playable. They're like rabbit hole activities. I, correct me if I'm wrong because I really know nothing about gameplay, but I thought that they were going to be a little bit more interactive. And so I was kind of disappointed about that, but I'm still excited that we're getting more activities for teenagers. And I imagine that this Sim is almost a teenager. And so if they go to school, maybe they'll want to be an athlete or something. <laughs> maybe they'll want to go uh, be on the football team or maybe they'll play soccer or something. I actually placed a lot of basketballs around, so maybe they're more into basketball, but um, I just think they're generally into sports and a lot of activities. And so, yeah, in here I placed a computer desk. They actually have their own computer. And then I just placed tons of wall decorations. We have lots of really nice posters that are sports related, whether it's like soccer or general sports related posters basically oh yeah and then i included this really adorable radio that we got from the uh, backyard campers kit i think it's called uh, but i just thought that looked so cute and then over here on the shelf i just added one of the um, school projects the bridge one i thought looked really nice and then i added these really cute shelf decorations that came from dream home decorator i thought that one was pretty ad like adorable even though it didn't come in the most perfect colors for this room i still felt like they worked perfectly in here and i wish that they were functional as storage i think they're purely decorative but they still look nice and so i added them in here and then yeah i'm just trying to find different decorations to put on this computer desk i just have some like stack of schoolwork and uh, different decorations and then over here I just add some posters and this really nice wall thing that came from Parenthood I believe but this one's sports related and then I added that other sign or it's like a little wall hanging that came from 
uh, get together I think there's two different variations there's the one that I placed and there's also one that's a little bit more of like a banner but I didn't realize that I placed it twice so before uploading it to the gallery I'll probably replace one of them for the actual like banner one that came from that same pack and so I think that'll look a little bit better rather rather than having the exact same decoration in there twice so um, yeah I just kind of missed that and then over here is going to be the shared bathroom for all of the kids in here is just um, yeah all of the bathroom stuff but I realized I forgot a toddler potty so I will definitely have to include one because I don't think having one downstairs is enough you definitely need one upstairs as well and then over here is going to be the last room that I decorate and this room I went for more of a purpley pink color scheme and I was going for kind of like an outdoorsy theme for this room I added some space decorations but I just thought that they kind of worked with the theme a little bit because I think the sim really likes being outdoors. They like camping. And so I think stargazing kind of goes along with that. But I was trying to keep it away from like the full on space theme just because I have done that quite a bit recently, even though I just did the, the sports one, which I've definitely done a lot of recently too. But I was just trying to make this room a little bit different with kind of going with the theme of like space and uh, liking maybe like the night sky and maybe doing some like astronomy and stuff but primarily liking just being outdoors and I thought this wallpaper actually worked really nice because it looks like grass you know <laughs> so it kind of reminded me of the outdoors too and so it has like butterflies and stuff so it's super cute but I just think this sim really likes camping they like being outside they like stargazing but they're not super like into science necessarily but maybe they will become more into science when they get a little bit bigger and become more into like um, like astronomy and stuff like that. So I think that could be pretty cool. But uh, for now, they just like playing outside and stargazing and maybe going camping and stuff. But yeah, this is pretty much it for the entire build. I'm just adding the final few decorations and then we're on to the screenshot. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one and hopefully you guys do enjoy the screenshot. So thank you so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. with tears We are happy most of the time And we get along better than fine Left and right we prayed Through the ups and downs we sweat It's easy Either way
dropped a letter down the wall. Different mysteries, full love mixed with tears. We are happy most of the time, and we get along better than fine. And now as we sway, it's easy. Either way, when I'm covered in tears, you're scared.